What's up, coders? Welcome to episode 0.2 of the Google Apps Script playlist. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the prerequisites that you need to run Apps Script. So, the first thing you're going to need is a Google account. Okay, so Apps Script is a product of Google, so you need some way to access it. The way you do it is through a Google account. But don't worry, just a personal account is fine. You don't need to buy anything from G Suite, you don't need to get a cloud identity account, you definitely don't need to get a Google Plus account. Personal account, just fine. I made one just for this course and it is very simple to do, it's free to do, and I, honestly I think most people watching this probably already have a Google account. The second thing you need is, well, you just need some foundational understanding of JavaScript. I'll try to teach as I go. And I understand that the reason why you may be watching this is to learn JavaScript. Um, but having a basic and core understanding of some of the concepts would be helpful. I will say though, AppScript, you can see this blurb down here, but AppScript now runs on the V8 runtime engine. What does that mean? It means that JavaScript that AppScript uses is now completely modern. So everything that AppScript does, every coding that you'll have to do with AppScript is now completely modernized JavaScript. And this happened about two or three weeks ago. They used to run on the runtime of Mozilla's Rhino, but that was a runtime that was using ECMAScript 5, which was made in, I think, 2009. So it was just very, very outdated JavaScript. It was kind of confusing at times. Now it's completely modernized. Everything you write is pure modern JavaScript. So you can declare variables like using let and const. You can use arrow functions now. You can even write classes, which I know is a big pain for some people before. So it's it's a lot easier now. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, otherwise, guys, if you have these two things, you're ready to go. Or if you don't have the JavaScript knowledge and but you're willing to learn it, you're still ready to go. All right, guys, see you in the next video.